What's up, guys? You know, it is the release of Battles of Legend Monsters Revenge. There's some sick cards in here. Um, I picked up some from my local vendor, and I opened up a bunch of packs, as you guys can see with some of the memes on the channel. We're going to be going over two boxes today, hoping to pull one of those, uh, those beautiful 25th century rares, to be honest. I'm hoping for a Lubellion myself. Um, some other good pulls are like Engage, Right. I know Sky Striker, Iggy Azalea is pretty expensive or pretty short printed as well i should say um but yeah before we dive in don't forget to like comment subscribe helps out the channel a lot and uh let me know in the comment section what cards you're looking for in this set so the set comes with a bunch of different uh, titles not title but i guess arts we have the 25th century dragon this is one of the um, cards he ends up pulling we see an arm neos right off the bat um, the ultras are not the greatest. There's some really cool cards. I'll go over any of the cool ultras I end up seeing here. Like Ginger Buster, this card is crazy for, uh, for being a reprint. So as well as Smashers. And then the Dark Hole, I really, I am enjoying like some of this. I don't know if you pulled anything in this. These cards are busted as well. The, uh, the Performer Pals, I'm really excited to show off one of those a deck featuring that so we have 48 packs um, we see a sigma and we see a super poly very nice oh this card this card is absolutely crazy you guys definitely have to read this card i would pick these cards up if i were you guys um i don't even know what to say about this card this card's absolutely just insane we see another performer pal and we see an Assault Synchron. This is a card and a ball drain. Okay, okay, okay. okay. <laughs> Goaded pack here. I need an Assault Synchron myself. I'm um, sure the Thomas. He's going to be cooking with this. And yeah. Valet. Very nice. Thought he was doing the sheesh, but he's not. Might be testing with some Performer Pals on stream sometimes. We see a Junk Archer. This is a good reprint for... Uh, for the um edison formats and then we also have like the pure uh venture token deck i wonder if we're going to be seeing anybody play any of that i'll put that there as well we see rose shaman nice looking card and then we see a raw a rocket coder a very nice ultra rare our secret rare people might be replacing recharger with this i think and the dragon strategy which is getting a nice little boost in some stuff here we see valet and we see drago berserker another nice reprint um this is the only fusion ultra in the set very nice for people who are chasing the gold pride or yeah chasing the punk stuff as well you know being gold pride punk we see a carrot and talking about the gold pride we see the no punk ogre dance and a gorgeous secret rare r.i.p for the people who bought collector for of this another rose we need a, a herald of pure light i know this wasn't very popular in the tcg but in ocg it was to get the max seeds back and we see the aritama this card was well needed for a reprint um to be honest I'm glad we got that people are playing it in extra sisters we see book of eclipse a nice secret rare printing i think it's the highest rarity of the card possible volcanic shell and this is the first copy of Vanisher as a hollow, I believe. I keep pulling a lot of these cards. And we see the, uh, yeah, probably not a good card, to be honest. If I don't remember the name of it, it's probably not good. Maybe it's good. Let me know in the comment section below what it's for. It's an Infernoble Knight card. Um, terraforming, very nice in the secret rare let me know if uh that card is actually supposed to do anything in the inferno night strategy there and we see a zeus wow talk about a beautiful card um pick up your zeus's while you guys can you know i heard this card short printed um and it's definitely worth having you know have your two copies of zeus with you at all times we see the prometheus another nice card 
I think this card was needed to be reprinted. I think people were like, buying a lot of it. And we see the hero card um, and a macro cosmos. Very nice. I completely forgot those were in this. Both of the macro and the the uh, the spell is another junk archer, our first double, and a copy of Consider Diamond. Right off the and Caddy Corn, right off the ban list. Very nice. A little bit of foil bleed on that archer as well. Queen Tiramisu, very nice. I think that this card was needed a reprint as well. I'm not too sure. Maybe for you, Madal players out there, let me know in the comment section below we see a battlefield not the greatest another aritama we haven't seen any of the copies of the other one this the one that came recently in the newest set i believe as a common and here we see another one of the the good pulls there are the dragon knight and here we are there is the aritama or sakitama right there as well as another good copy of the blackwing card Almost done the first box, and we see a Smashers, a Book of Eclipse, and another Ariyama here. So that's our second copy of Book of Eclipse, and very nice. Hopefully we pull a playset here. We see a Draco Berserker, a Quick Fix. We're going to fresh off the ban list. There's so many of the uh, Sky Striker cards. We see a Spider, and we see a Mysterion. I'm not too sure why this was in this set. Not the greatest Sage of Benefolence in the Sage. Oh, they're all Sage of Benefolence. Okay, okay. I guess for people who love the Sky Striker stuff. You guys like Sky Striker? I don't think any of those cards are played. Maybe in a knee strategy. Another Dark Hole. And we see a Vanisher. Shout out to JC. For the last pack of this box, we see an Ibley there. Pretty all right first box, if I do say so myself. Only one ball drake, I think it's interesting. As well as like, it's interesting that we only got ball drake as the, uh, as the bestial. Opening the second box here. If there's no quarter century rare, somebody at local got very lucky. That's okay. We want to spread the luck. Everyone deserves to pull some good cards sometimes here. We see a golden rule. I know that Alex is going to be on that, so shout out to Alex. The Din Buster and a Photon Jumper here. You know, this is the card that JT or JC was looking for. I can see the Photon deck profile coming now. Another Mysterion, a Caddy Corn. I'm not even paying attention to these uh, these Spider cards. <laughs> I don't think they're gonna make a difference. They're just pack filler to us. And we see a, another Assault Synchron, very nice. You know, two so far. All we need is one more to complete our playset. Another Gold Pride Punk. And a ball drake. I, I mix up gold pride and punk all the time. They're just the same deck to me. We see another book of eclipse to finish our set there. And we see another ogre dance. No foxies so far. I think that's the only one that we're missing is foxy. See a performer pilot, the punk, and a shadows light. Very nice. Now this card's crazy in Dragon Knight. A right of Air Messier here. We like that card. And then we see the Shire Hushai. I think that right of Air Messier is also short printed as well. Another Mysterion, not short printed at all. You're showing up everywhere. It's all right. You got a nice, pretty color scheme. Another Dark Magician, the Knight there. I don't know if anyone actually plays this card. 
We see the Ooze Giants. Don't know if that card's very nice, but I'm sure someone will break it. I think it like boosts a Zeus. A Tri Edge Master. Very, very nice as well. This card is replacing, I believe, uh, one of the level sixes I used to play in Virtual World. IP Masquerina. Another good copy. You're picking up your IPs now while you can. And you never know when this card's going to be needed in your sprite deck, for example. Battlefield Tragedy. Pulling that card, the City Tragedy there. Not very great. I think it's like 25 cents. Another super polymerization, and this, these two, these cards are everywhere. We're getting down to the R RGB for you uh, gamers. Getting down to the last few packs here. The Dream of Lubellion is running low. Another Shadows Light, no duality so far. Kind of rough, I know, with some of the short printing cards. Oh, and we see a 25th century dark hole. Talk about a gorgeous card. A little bit off centered, but we'll take those. I know dark hole, I think dark hole is being reprinted in the, uh, the century pack as well. Very nice there. I guess you can now remove all monsters on the field in style. Synchro Zone. Another terraforming. Beautiful. You can terraforming this out. It doesn't do very much. We have three packs left here. I don't know what else we could ask for. Maybe a duality or a... Or another Ibli or something like that. We see another Gold Pride. Or not even Gold Pride, a Punk card. There's no Gold Prides in this set. We see a duality here. Wow, talk about the, uh, you get what you asked for. For the last pack, Caddy Magic. Can we pull a, ah, uh, I don't even know what it is. Can we pull, let's say, I don't know. What have we not pulled? Shadow's Light would be nice. Ibli would be nice. Uh, golden Rule, even. And we see a Danger Nessie. I haven't pulled one of these yet. I'm excited. Glad to pull a Secret Rare of this card. I know I bought Secret Rares a while ago. This card is absolutely gorgeous. Unfortunately, the rest of the dangers didn't come in this, but Nessie did need it. So, uh, yeah. Glad to pull it. Mostly glad to pull this. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. If you want to see any more content like this, um... It helps out the channel a lot. Uh, hope you guys enjoy. You're going to be seeing a lot of deck profiles featuring duality and potentially some of the new cards. I'm going to be testing out Arm Neos and uh, where'd you go? Arm Neos as well as this card here. And we're going to be playing around with the, with the shadow lights and stuff like that. Hopefully we'll see you again soon and we'll wipe you out.